afraid I'm putting a shadow on you, though. Whatever. It's YouTube. It's a free video. <laughs> Take what you get. Here in Grand Cayman, spent the week trying to hit all the major snorkel spots mm -hmm. that we could. Kind of first-time snorkelers. Yeah, for sure. So we just did our best online research, found some YouTube videos that were super, super helpful, so we decided we were going to put together our own, our own YouTube yeah. video. Because those videos are what led us to amazing places. Yeah. We'll talk about the first spot that we actually snorkeled, and that was when we did the Stingray City and uh, Coral Reef combination. We did it through Red Sail Sports. Mm -hmm. 55 bucks a person, worth every penny. From Rum Point. Yeah, it was worth every penny. Um, stingrays sting were very interesting. <laughs> These are wild stingrays as well. Uh, they're just kind of well. They live in the wild, they but they live in the wild. Like but they're they well know. trained to know yeah. that humans give them food. Yeah, they get s nice squid uh, from humans. Mm -hmm. So they do come up uh, when they see the boats all there, um, and they were everywhere as you'll see and uh they're big they're kind of slimy and they feel weird like hard cartilage mm -hmm. feeling strong um they freaked me out they're I, very I acted creepy like a, i acted like a little baby on that i mean it was amazing i'm so glad we did it i would do it again but it was just i would do it again and not act like a child yeah <laughs> <laughs> would you kiss it i would because now I know it's not going to hurt me. Like, no. it's not, I don't know. I just was being a baby. I wasn't the only one. No. There were men that were acting. Oh, yeah. Not, like, giggling like us, but no. you could tell they didn't like it either. Yeah. One lady stayed on the boat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's the only... No, there were two women that stayed on the boat. Yeah, and then after that, they brought us to a little coral reef. Mm -hmm. And that was actually our first little foray into, into snorkeling. Yeah. And that was a great little reef. There were... Tons of little fish. Uh, that was tons just of fish. a lot of variety and lots to see. and Not very deep, so you can dive down yeah. and get close to the coral. I um, feel like our camera shots for this one were kind of spazzy because we were just learning how to use the gear and just yeah. learning how to snorkel, so bear with it if that's the case. Yeah, you can see as the snorkel spots go on, our filming gets better. <laughs> so one spot that we hit was the Wyndham Hotel over on the east end. Mm -hmm. Pretty simple snorkeling. Uh, it's around a pier, so a lot of the fish, big tarpon, uh, three to four feet long. Yeah, there were a lot of fish there. Mm -hmm. Not much current. Super easy swim. Like even little kids could do it. Yep. Um, fairly shallow water, for sure. And just yeah. tons of fish. Super easy swim. So I would recommend it just for that. Yep. Something easy. Yeah, and also if you're if you are new to snorkeling, it's just to get your bearings. Yep. Kind of fill out your gear yep. and whatnot. Absolutely. And then the second spot we went was, was Spots Beach. Yeah, Spots Beach. On Spots Beach. And Spots Beach is known for sea turtles, which was one of the coolest things. I think if you ask me my favorite, I don't know. I don't know if I could say it was my favorite, but it was really, really cool. Yeah, it was, it was really amazing to just to be down in the water with the sea turtles. Wild sea turtles, not in help, not in captivity. Yep, so that beach was really nice. Uh, had a nice pier that you could, little dock that you could walk out on. And we talked to a local there. She said to the right of that dock, the currents can get very, very strong and there's a channel that can suck you out. So we stayed to the left of the dock. You can go to the right, just not very far. And then the sea turtles were about halfway between the dock and the break. Mm -hmm. And I'll say even on the left, it, the, the swimming, the current was, was fairly strong. It was, it was pretty strong. I would not take children under the age no. of 14. Oh, we did Starfish Point. Uh, I would not pay. No. Don't pay a tour. No. To go snorkel over there because there's not really any snorkeling. Get a car or do a public public bus or taxi to Spots Beach. I mean to find Starfish some way Point. to get to Starfish Point on yeah. your own. And just you'll see in the video, we walked up to like two groups that were doing it, and we saw the starfish. You see them, you hold them. That's about it. Mm -hmm. um, before you go, you'll see signs and you'll hear from people to not, not take the starfish out of the water. But we'll just reiterate it here. 
don't take the starfish out of the water. It kills them. Keep them in the water. So you'll notice that when we're holding the starfish, we keep them in the water. Um, cool thing about that, we saw that six-legged one. Oh, Which yeah. the guy said was a genetic anomaly. Yeah. And he's never seen one before. So that was pretty cool. Yeah, it was cool. They're, they're interesting creatures. Cemetery Beach. It's West Bay Cemetery. There's a lot of cemeteries here. Parked our car right in front of the cemetery, and then there was a walking path to the right. And you walked on that, and the beach is really pretty. Mm -hmm. And so we, we hopped in the water, and it was a little uh, like cloudy and milky mm -hmm. in the beginning, so I was kind of bummed thinking that we weren't going to see much. But then once you got out about 20 yards or so, sure, yeah. uh, it cleared up, and that's when you started to see some things. And then once you got about how many yards offshore? Probably 75 to 100. Yeah, 75 to 100 yards offshore is where you'll see the big, bigger structures yeah. that you're seeing in these videos. Yeah. Um, and Cemetery was so good that we went there twice. So. Yeah, Cemetery was. It's got some deep spots, shallower spots. You can dive down, see the nice coral up close. Mm -hmm. Really cool fish. I think they're used to snorkelers. They seemed pretty relaxed around people yep swimming was pretty easy current wasn't too no. bad not like spots at all um but not as easy as the windham or even rum point uh i would say a, a decent swimming 12 year old could handle that mm -hmm. although it's pretty far offshore so i'm not sure i would even want my you can always get a life jacket and throw True. on them but yeah, current. Tie a rope around your waist in there and just like yeah. doggy. Yeah. No, so that, I would recommend taking your kids out. I would highly recommend Cemetery Beach. Mm -hmm. Highly, highly. I, that and Eden, Eden's Rock were my favorite. Yeah. So Eden's Rock was, first day we went there it was too windy to go. It was a little too choppy. And then the second day that we went back, it was still kind of, I could feel the currents. Oh yeah, definitely. The water's pretty deep there. Uh, and I could feel the ocean, the power of the ocean. Sure. And, you know, we say rough the first day we went. We, you drive up, and it's, an, it's at Eden Rock Dive Center. And there's a ladder going off the rocks into the water. And that's where you enter. He told us exactly where to go. You follow the buoys. I would just, when you get there, just ask who's ever working there where you should go and the path that you should take. And they'll tell you. Uh, so we hopped in and we went out and uh, it's it's deep pretty quick yeah but there are some really big rock formations under there unbelievable and we didn't get real close to them because they're deep it yeah. doesn't look it in video but well there's one there's one shot in the video if you leave this if you leave it uh, there's two people off in the distance and you yeah. can tell how small they are compared to the bottom yeah even then though like on video you just lose the magnitude of things sometimes yeah. it was massive it was, it was probably 50 i think there were there's if you look it up there's spots that go 50 feet deep of all the places that we snorkeled that one made me feel small and a little bit vulnerable mm -hmm. but not in a scary way not no. in a bad way he did talk about you might see nurse Sure. Nurse sharks, yep. And he talked about how they have two teeth. They're bottom feeders. And they're the special cousin. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> he says they're pretty dumb. Yeah. So wouldn't be too afraid of that if you do see a shark yeah. on the bottom. We didn't see a ton of fish. Probably because they were deep. Yep. Um, but I know that you can see a lot of fish there. You can see eels there. Sometimes you can see stingrays. We uh, saw a big lobster. Huge lobster. You can see sharks sometimes. Mm -hmm. Like there's a, a pretty wide variety. So that was it. Yeah. And Rent a car. Rent a car. Drive around. Um, I'm really glad that we rented one. Driving on the left, not a big deal. If you're from the U.S., it's really not. So rent a car, look up some spots, and, and just check them out. Yeah, definitely explore. Anything else? I don't think so. I think we hit them all up. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool.